All right, guys, today's a little bit different video. Um, I've always had protection on the windshield and it's still protected. So I just kind of want to clean it up a little bit, you know, maybe cut down a layer that's uh, been contaminated. I don't want to strip it fully, but yet I want to clean it. So how do you do that without taking the coating off? I mean, it's kind of hard if you start polishing and stuff, which I'm going to do. But there's, there's, there's a way that you just kind of topically shave it down, get any of the contaminants off. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. And, you know, the best way would be to strip it all the way down. Use, use a hard polish. You know, you could use a compound. You could use Siri, Siri glass from CarPro and, you know, they're their cutting pads and all this and that. I'm gonna do something a little different. I don't wanna take it all the way off and I wanna see if I can just kind of topically take like half of it off and still leave the protection on there. If you wanted to really recoat it, yes, take everything off. Maybe I'll just take half off and spray something else on there. I don't know, I'm just playing around. So stick with me. These are some of the products I'm gonna to use today. I'm gonna to use DIY's Rinseless Wash just to basically wash the windshield. We're gonna get some of the contaminants off there, the loose debris. We're gonna also use that for our clay process. Now I have the DIY clay towel. I've never used it. We're gonna try it today. I'll show you how to break it in and we'll use it and see how it goes with that. After we wash the window, I'm gonna try out some of this Auto Glim glass polish. Never tried this before. So I'm gonna polish the glass with this. I will be using a Flex, the uh, cordless beast here, and I will be using a CCS waffle weave pad. Now, all of these products and tools and clay towels you can get at idscarcare.com. So check out idscarcare.com. You can get all kinds of cool equipment, tools, accessories, and, and products for whatever need you have for your vehicle. Let's get started. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Let's go. All right, so here I've got some, some water. I'm going to put some of the DIY rinseless wash in here. We're going to use this as... Um, has a rinseless wash but it's gonna soften up so let me just put a little bit it's gonna soften up the towel here in the meantime so I'm gonna get that started now this is our clay towel this is the clay side this is the regular side all right so we'll just get this I'm gonna soak this in the rinseless wash solution I've also got one towel here I'm gonna put inside there. All we need is one towel for the windshield. All right, so I, I haven't washed this yet, but I'm gonna show you some of the, uh, what happens with the water when I put it on here. So it's still got great hydrophobics on it. You can see the water just runs right off it. But it's time to go ahead and refresh everything. All right, I've got my rinseless wash towel here. It's real simple. We've taken out the rinseless wash. We're just gonna clean the window. Get anything off there because we will be clean and polishing this. So we wanna get everything off. Okay, so after we've rinseless washed it, let's pull out our clay towel here it's been soaking a little bit all right so these towels the clay on there comes with kind of like a coating on them so this is brand new if you have a brand new towel you want to do this fold it up and you're gonna you're gonna rub each part of the clay on the window now what this is doing is taking off that coating that's on there so it can be used as a as a clay mitt or clay towel on your paint afterward. But at the same time, we're also cleaning our car or our window at this moment. So I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do this other side of it. 
and you're just kind of rubbing on here. This is the same thing, except we're doing it first. You would do this first on your window instead of your paint to get that coating off there. It just happens to be that we're working on the glass today. So we're actually getting a two in one effect. We're getting the coating removed off the clay and we're cleaning the window. All right, so we've done both these sides. Now, let's flip it over and do that side. Okay, so now your towel is ready and prepped if you are going to clay the paint. But since we're just doing the window, we prep the towel and it's ready to go. We've done all four sides. I'm just giving it a little extra here, making sure I didn't miss anything. And the towel is good, ready to be used now anywhere on the car that you want. And we've finished cleaning the window. All right, I'm gonna come over, dry the window now. I'm using my Glacier 1100 towel from McKee's. Best drying towel you can get. This is the mid-sized towel here. They make three sizes, a small, an extra large. Okay. Okay, so we got the window all washed and clayed. Now let's put some more water and see if the clay has had any effect on this. It's actually made it even more hydrophobic now. So you can see how clay alone will revive, could be your coating, could be your glass coating. But you can see the difference here. Wow, that's amazing. I don't even need to polish and recoat it, but we're gonna do that anyway. All right, so let's try out some of this Auto Glim glass polish. Shake it up a little bit. Let's put some on here. Now I will tell you that this does not feel full. It feels like it's about up to here, and this is brand new. So that's kind of interesting. All right, I've got my CCS Waffle Weave heavy polishing pad here. Let me spread it out. All right, I've got some McKee's coating prep spray I put into a little Flarisol bottle. I like how it spreads on there. So now I'm gonna get my towel, I'm gonna wipe off. Okay, so we finished polishing. We used the uh, coating prep spray. Let's see what the water is like now. You can see it still beads off pretty fast, runs off very fast. A little bit longer up there. You know, the coating we used on this window, if I remember correctly, was the uh, Gion, what's the spray one? Can coat. So that's a pretty strong coating. Okay, so after reading this, this is the glass polish. You know, they're talking about this is good for grease, wax, nicotine, insects. So basically, you, this is for the inside and the outside. So if it's for the inside, you know, you're using it by hand. The outside is gonna get any light stuff off there. It's not like a uh, 
heavy duty polish like like uh this one here this is siri glass it's got cerium oxide in it from car pro so you you use this to actually take out light scratches out of your windshield whereas this product here is basically just to topically clean and shine so that's why you're not getting that deep cut of that protection there which is cool because actually I'm deep cleaning or I'm shining it up and cleaning off the topical layers, which I don't have to re-protect again. So I think I'll do that with both sides. Let's see uh, some of the water behavior on this one. I put it, I polished a little bit longer, a little bit faster speed. Still hydrophobic, but you know, a little more deeper cut. So you could go faster on the rotation. You could go harder. You could go with a harder pad and uh, it will start to take it off. But Kind of a perfect polish for a topical cleaning. Now I can add whatever I want again. All right guys, hope you liked this short, quick video. Today, we're talking about a few different products here. We started out with a DIY details rinseless wash. We put it into a rinseless wash bucket. We washed the windshield because we are polishing and doing a light topical polish here. Now, we washed it with this, we got it clean. We dumped the new DIY detail clay towel into the water while we were washing, let it get a little bit soft. And then we took this onto the wet windshield after washing it and we rubbed the dark part, which is the clay, all over the windshield. Now you need to do that when you first break in a clay towel. All right, it has like a, a protective film on it. And when you rub it against the glass, it will break it in. So before you use these on your paint, you need to do this on some glass. In my case, we were working on glass, so it kind of did a two for one. We broke it in and we clayed the, the glass. Now what I noticed right away is actually just claying the glass brought back the hydrophobics even better than it was pre-clay, all right? So you could, Try that if you have a coating on your paint or your glass. If you clay it, it should take off some contamination and you should get better hydrophobics. I wanted to clean it up a little bit, so we used the Auto Glim glass polish. We put it onto the uh, Flex XCE 818. This is the cordless version. And we used a CCS Waffle Weave heavy polishing pad. I really wanted to get in there and clean as much as I could. Now, this polish is for interior and exterior glass use. My case, all my windows are tinted. My windshield is tinted on the inside as well, so I can't use this in there. But for people that don't have tint, this you know helps with the smokers or any kind of residue from the inside of there, you know, the nicotine on the outside will help with bugs. Um, any kind of grease, kick up, stuff like that. It tells you everything, insects, whatever. But this is actually a very easy product to use. It's not going to cut down super hard like you would a cerium oxide heavy polish for glass that takes out uh, light scratches on glass. This is not for that. This is just a topical polish to really give you that clarity back. Now my windshield is coated. We did a topical polish just like one to two passes, light pressure, speed one on the flex, all right? So just to clean up that, and it still left plenty of coating on there and really just cut down the top layer. So I've got coating on there now, still from before, except it's a cleaner layer. And 
this is what I used. I thought this was pretty cool. You could put this on a pad and use it inside your window by hand to do the interior of the, the windshield and it'll work really, really nice. It comes off very easy when you wipe it off and you should get that clarity back when you're driving. So guys, all of these products can be found at idscarcare.com. Go check them out. I mean, you've got all the brands there. You've got all the accessories, all the products. Very, very cool uh, towels, everything. We use the McKees Glacier 1100 middle size drying towel on this. Another fantastic towel by them. And, you know, go see idscarcare.com. Check these products out. Hope you liked the quick video. We'll talk to you guys later.